Okay, all right. All right, yes, I can see you guys. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. Now, gaming on the Apple Vision Pro is an interesting thing. Because it's new, because there are not many games, because there are many ways to game on this device, it's something that you have to actually decide what you want to play. So if you guys are joining us for the very first time, this is Thunder E on Board of Work. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the notification icon to see more videos like this. Now, if you're wondering, I have done another video on the Apple Vision Pro, and I talked about one of my biggest gripes, which was of course comfort for me. Now, I do have some friends who have the Vision Pro and they found it pretty comfortable. So it depends on, you know, your head size, your head, who you are, that kind of thing. Now, the biggest thing to take away, especially in gaming, because when we game, we like to game for a long period of time, is how comfortable it is. So I switched away from the single loop band. That was really painful for me to use. Uh, this is much better. I still wish it was more improved. I wish there was more center support, but you get the idea find the band that works well for you. Now, the second thing, of course, is the battery. Now, the battery life is roughly around two hours with the uh, attached battery here, which you can, of course, plug directly uh, with USB-C cable uh, to charge. So you can actually sit down and play and game as much as you want. But you saw me earlier playing a game called Synth Raider. Now, Synth Raider is an AR interactive game, which is a lot of fun. I mean, it was great. Um, and the one thing with with Apple Arcade games like this is that you don't really net need to map the area as long as you have a clear area out. I do wish they did had indicators for this game, or maybe it's just a developed thing, I'm not sure, but I wish that was set like a boundary each time you want to play just to make sure your environment is safe for you. But it, again, gameplay was really fun. Another game which is pretty cool is called What the Golf. Now, What the Golf is an AR game where you're playing miniature golf and you have this island, a golf island that floats down, you can place it anywhere. I like that because it's just more relaxed. You can place it, you can play golf in different funny ways with what the golf. I remember meeting the developers for that. That was actually was pretty cool, pretty nice game. But I like the way it works here in this environment. Now you're saying, okay, Thunder, those are nice games, but what do they have in the app store? What's available for me? Well. Let's go ahead and take a look what games are available in the App Store for gamers and what's also available on Apple Arcade. Okay, that was quite interesting. I didn't expect to find PUBG New State in the App Store because I couldn't find Call of Duty. So let's go ahead, download it and see how it is. Now, the one, my biggest gripe here is that it just didn't work. I tried playing the game, I couldn't play it, it wouldn't start. It took forever to download, by the way. Um, so, I don't know, maybe it needs an update. And you're gonna find issues like this for at least the foreseeable future until things get updated. Again, this is a brand new platform, so not every developer has caught up yet. And you know, you can't blame anything. Now, one aspect that does work really well is using Steam Link. I have my PC upstairs, I can connect directly to it. And with Steam Link, I can play all my PC games uh, as much as I want. Now you're thinking, okay, I, why don't you just play your PC games upstairs? Uh, I've got a nice monitor. It's, you know, it's 144 hertz, it's uh, um, 1440p, which is cool. I've got a 65 inch TV here, but with this, I can go as big as possible. That was like 120 inches, playing Street Fighter, playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Doom. You get the idea. Now, how about you take a look and see how well that actually handles. <laughs> That's pretty dope. That is pretty nice. Plays really well and it was really fun to connect my Xbox controller and play that. Now, speaking of Xbox, 
Xbox Game Pass. I went ahead and tried to connect to Xbox Game Pass uh, by going through the browser, but because the Safari browser yet on the Apple Vision Pro does not allow you to pin um, websites to the home screen yet, I cannot play Xbox Game Pass. So there's just no way around it. There's no app, there's nothing. Uh, so your best bet to play more games is basically Steam Link. That's the uh, biggest expanse you have here. Now, another option that you do have is of course, um, basically connecting your MacBook to your headset and playing that way as well. And you can play whatever games are available on your Mac, like um, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 4, Death Stranding, that kind of stuff from your Mac to um, your Vision Pro. Now, the one thing I did notice is that it just ran a little bit slower. Again, shouldn't need an update because remember, this has an M2 chip, uh, same as my MacBook Air 15, so performance should not be an issue uh, with that. But again, it's just one of those things where I think it's just the early kicks. Now, there are a couple of arcade games that will play and work well, things like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that played really well. What you're noticing and seeing here is that gaming on the Apple Vision Pro is very early. There's really not much to play. There isn't uh, a huge focus, which was very interesting for me because with a VR AR headset, I expected to see more of that because a lot of the interactive nature you found with its competitors like the Quest, you'll find that there. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not coming. It just means that it's slow. Um, so that's where you have it. Now, when it comes to temperatures on this device, I've been, I've been gaming for a while with this headset and it's just a little bit warm. The battery itself actually has stayed pretty cool. So temperature wise, both the battery and the headset have been nice. My biggest gripe is just the weight on your nose and around your face, just the way the headbands work. It doesn't really hit the mark there, but the experience though, especially playing Steam Link and playing Street Fighter, oof, that was impressive. So let me know what you think about gaming on the Apple Vision Pro. Is it something that you would like to see more? Um, do you, what games do you like to see? I know this is not for everyone. This device isn't for everyone, but this is the first step in expanding that AR VR um, market that Meta had started, you know, a few years back. So let me know what you think, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave your thoughts down below, and always enjoy your entertainment. Okay, some more Street Fighter.